Hello, and welcome back to Coolest Gamers Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins. <laughs> Part 33. 33? 43. My god. My god, what a Saturday it is. The H3H3 podcast uploaded the uh, Ela Klein number 38 podcast a day late, but let me tell you something, it was not a dollar short. That much is very, very certain. What an incredible voice that woman is for the YouTubing community, for the feminine community, for the refugee community. I mean, she speaks among so many lines of intersectionality. And what I loved about that podcast is that despite all of that representation, she was just this down-to-earth, likable person. I was so pleased. I was so incredibly pleased with that podcast that I wrote a comment that is easily gearing itself up to be one of the top comments on any H3H3 video of all time. I think I've already gotten near 300 thumbs on that shit. If I'm not famous here, <laughs> I sure as fuck am famous in the way I choose to represent my thoughts on the internet to random strangers. I noticed recently that there is a disturbing percentage of YouTuber, YouTube comments or commenters but they will do uh, who seem to hail from a certain anonymous image board that I have been known on occasion to frequent. Not known, of course, because it is an anonymous image board. And I was getting into some rather troubling arguments with some rather bigoted individuals on the comments of that video. It seems as though, and this is just my assessment of the situation, it seems as though there is a certain predominantly male, I I'm not even sure how this stance would even be relevant were it espoused by a female, viewpoint on YouTube that seems to have this kind of rancor over political correctness. Let's put it that way. I mean, I am not a social justice warrior by any means, but I am a proponent of certain political correctness issues. And I think a lot of what I was trying to represent in my comments to that video were how Ela Klein essentially knocked it out of the park for feminists on this glorious Saturday. On this glorious 11-11 day in which she could not have fulfilled my wishes more ably. And uh, I got a few detractors, I got a few people that were saying things like, you know, um, stop, for one. One guy was just like, stop. Like, I should really just stop supporting a female, um, personage on the internet who has been reputed for being shy and uh, for kind of taking a backseat role in the H3 H3 productions and another guy who said that quote unquote you people just see what you want to see now I'm not saying he's saying you people like a racial thing but essentially this guy's argument Whoa. is that There is a certain amount of liberal social justicing going on, which interprets everything involving certain lines of intersectionality and representation as being social justice warrior-ness, and that we just, we basically, we basically just spin it to be that. We just spin everything to be some political thing in favor of 
I don't know what they would characterize it as, hyper-feminism. It's an ignorant viewpoint, to be certain, because it assumes that the, the prominent viewpoint should always be the masculine, and that the feminine should just stand up for the modern masculine tropes that have been dominating this country for the past century and a quarter or so. Well, for longer than that, to be sure, but in the modern age, yeah. And, uh, I just... I don't know. I'm really tired of being called a beta libcuck every time I decide that I actually really care about these issues. It's a regressive and ignorant voice, to be sure. Male feminists are not a meme. They are not a laughable sort. They... They're none of the above. They are responsible, socially-minded individuals. And the sooner people see that, the better, as far as I'm concerned. And the fact that I got so many thumbs on that comment just shows, in my mind, that the majority of people uh, who enjoy Ethan and Neela Klein's content really do agree with this line of thought. That Ethan and Neela Klein are, at least in their viewership, representative of a very progressive mindset when it comes to male and female roles in our society nowadays. Anyway, that's enough venting for me. We got finished with the Fort Louis C.K. Fort. Uh, killed all the dudes. Freed all the hostages. We did what any hero would do in this situation. Now we're gonna go amongst the great sand ocean that, wind. that is stereotypical that Egypt. Coming. Here we are, coming into Latopolis. We're going after the one, the only, the scarab that has been plaguing this land for as long as this game world has existed. Whoa. I mean, if we're being realistic, that's how long it's been. Latopolis is this very peculiar place. It has all of these very, very highfalutin structures here. And not a lot of homes, it looks like. This place essentially looks like a set for an Indiana Jones movie. I don't know if it was really like this here in Latopolis back in the, in the ancient old day before Christ. But, uh... I mean, I don't know, when is Christ born in relation to this timeline? Like 13 or 14 years from when this game is set? Something like that? I know he died at 33, and I guess he would have died on the year of 0 AD. So if this is 48, 47 BCE, that means Jesus is not yet to be born for another 13 or 14 years, if my calculations are correct. I wonder if we're going to see Jesus get born in this game, if they're going to zoom forward the time. That would be quite interesting. It would be <laughs> fascinating indeed if we found out that Jesus Christ was a Templar and that we had to construct a conspiracy to get him crucified. <laughs> see, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual sword, I believe in God, but... Historically speaking, with all the events that the Bible purports to have happened in these ancient times, I don't buy any of that shit. As far as I'm concerned, Jesus was just a man who was particularly more convincing than other men who claimed to have the truth of God bestowed within him. And anyone who believes a man is a fool. And God is something much greater than any historical figure.
So if you're looking for a solid, authoritative opinion, a final opinion on whether or not the Bible is true, look no further, because you found it. See you next time, guys.